For many shops, here in the US and overseas, the UMC 750 needs no introduction. It's a bestseller, and since 2012, it's been helping shops tackle a huge variety of different parts. And while the 750 is the right machine for so many shops out there, here at the factory, we're receiving requests for a machine focused more specifically on automotive cylinder head work. We knew that we could build a high-performance five-axis machine that spoke to the requirements of cylinder head work. But we also knew that those shops that might be interested probably wanted a machine that did more than just fit that single niche. So we developed the UMC 750P. The 750P is positioned to appeal to the more traditional machine shop that's looking to do cylinder head work, but still wants a VMC that can run more general machining jobs when called for. Now let's take a look at the kind of job most people picture running on this machine. At Roush Yates Racing, they're using the 750P to machine cylinder heads for a multitude of NASCAR teams. We're talking race motors, pumping out 800 plus horsepower, spinning at 8,500 RPM for more than two hours straight. Needless to say, precision and repeatability are crucial. No doubt, the 750P can get complex five axis porting done just like the best of the competition. But what capabilities can it give you that the other guys don't offer? There are some good machines out there, most aimed at builders unfamiliar with 5-axis CNC. Often, they're limited to just cylinder head work and are much more expensive than a UMC. With that in mind, let's look at how the UMC 750 gets more work done and done efficiently. Before we look at everything we can bolt up to this HRT 210, let's remember for a moment that you can easily move the rotary to the very edge of the table and attach your 6-inch vices to the table to handle traditional 3-axis parts or you can run rotary and vice jobs back to back without tearing either job down. This puts the 750P to work just like a regular three axis VMC whenever you don't have a five axis job ready to load up. And the switchover is easy and painless. Now let's take a look at getting productive with rotary fixturing. The Haas Quick Change system allows you to quickly clamp and unclamp our cube and plate fixtures using the built in drawbar and air ratchet and the precise alignment features keep each fixture aligned to the rotary for great repeatability. The cube gives you four sides to mount smaller parts. Add low profile clamps and you're ready to go. Machine all six faces of each part with a flip in the middle. Flip and rotate your parts, index the rotary. Now you've swapped your OP1 and OP2 positions to finish adding all those features. With the plate fixture, you can mount a vise to each side or use low profile clamps to hold multiple small parts. The great thing about the quick change system and the cube or plate is that when you're done machining on your current fixture, just open the door, come in here and unclamp the first fixture, fill with finished parts, set that there, pick up your second fixture loaded up with blanks, clamp that up, close the door, and hit cycle start. The result, maximum spindle on time. Now I can unload this first fixture while the machine is running the second one. If you want to get even more parts running under the spindle at one time, then check out our block fixtures. There's a 12 inch and a 20 inch version. With this 20 inch block in here, fitted with low profile clamps, we can do a whole bunch of work between reloads. This keeps the spindle running continuously and gives your operator time to take care of other machines and tasks. There are also a variety of aftermarket multi-part tombstones that will fit the HRT210 and give you multi-part capability and quick load and unload times. The UMC 750P gives you access to a specialized segment of the industry. At the same time, it gives you the flexibility to handle regular three axis jobs as well as general fourth and fifth axis work as your job flow demands. Put simply, the 750P gives you lots of options.